Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to replace the front indicator bulb on a Volkswagen T4 Transporter. If you've got a standard orange lens like this you only need a clear bulb but it's worth noting if you've got a clear lens you will need an orange bulb. If the front indicator bulb has blown it will mean that the rear indicator bulb will flash twice as fast. To access the front bulb unit you need to open the bonnet first or the hood. So pull this lever here on the passenger side, then open up the bonnet by pushing this button and then make sure that bonnet is secure and in the upright position. And we're gonna be replacing the front indicator bulb in here. Now to remove this, it's got a clip here, which holds the unit in. All you need to do is lever that clip outwards and hold it outwards while you slide the front lens indicator towards you. So you may need some help with this. What you need to do is wedge that clip open with a flat bladed screwdriver. So just push that down and then twist it. If the indicator lens has never been out before, it may be a little bit stiff. So just wedge that clip open Get someone to hold that clip open for you. Then get a good grip on the front lens. And it literally just slides out forwards. I'm just working its way loose here. It's a little bit stiff this one. Ah, and there it goes. Don't just yank it out towards you because obviously you've still got the bulb attachment inside that lens. And that is the bulb there. This one's a little bit stiff to get out because it hasn't been removed for a long time. And this front wing's had a bit of a respray, so it was a little bit tricky to get out. Now to remove the bulb, just gently turn it anti-clockwise, about 45 degrees. It's just got some small nubbins, some small locking pins. Get those lined up and then gently pull it out of the unit. You'll feel when it's coming released. There we go. Put the front lens somewhere safe. We're not going to knock it off and smash it to pieces. Then to remove the bulb, push it in and gently turn it anti-clockwise. And then it just removes. It's got parallel pins on it. And this is a 12 volt, 21 watt clear bulb. And actually it doesn't look like it's blown, but it is all burnt on one side. So just take a brand new bulb. I've got a Lucas bulb here. Again, this is a 12 volt, 21 watt parallel pin, just a standard bulb. If you've got the clear lens, as I mentioned earlier, you will need an orange bulb, which is the same fitment. Just make sure all those contacts inside are nice and clean before you put the new bulb in. Put the bulb in, line it up with the grooves, push it inwards and then twist it clockwise and then it just locks into position. And then before you put everything back, test the indicator. So put the ignition on, put the indicator on, look at that, it's all working, which is fabulous news. Nothing worse than replacing a bulb and it still doesn't work. So that is great news, we can put it all back together now. Let's just check the rear one. Great stuff. We need to lock this bulb back into the unit. You can see it's got the grooves in there where you push it in. So push the nubbins through those gaps and then twist it clockwise just to lock it into place. Don't force it, just keep moving it around until it slides in and then lock it. There we go, that is locked into place. Great stuff. Now we need to slide the whole unit in. Now this is a fairly easy process, but you must make sure that you get it inside the grooves. It's like on a rail track system at the top and the bottom. So don't force it in if it doesn't feel like it's going in naturally. So at the top there, we've got it on the groove and at the bottom, it just slides in on that runner and then just gently push it all the way home and you'll feel that clip lock back into place. And I'll just check that clip again, and that is all secure and in place. Then I'm just going to check the front indicator once more. 
don't forget to remove any tools that you've used. I can see my screwdriver there on the battery lid. And let's get this beast started up and go for a lovely drive. Little hand says it's time to rock and roll. In the top right hand corner there's a video on the fuse box locations and how to test the fuses on this van. And in the top left the OBD2 port location that's where you can check any errors and reset any error codes. And in the bottom left how to remove the rear bulb cluster on this van that's if you want to get access to any of the rear bulbs. Ah I forgot to have a cup of tea. 